Nathan Judo. I'm here with Wolves reporter Mr. Tim Spears. Tim, we've just been speaking to Nuno. What's he had to say? Big game against Barnsley. <laughs> Uh, not a lot. Not he, a didn't, lot. He, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't have loads to say today, did he, to be fair? But at the same time, you know... Getting, de getting deja vu, yeah. Yeah, we did, we did, but he had a little bit, because then Barnsley gave him a good no, test, didn't they, at home on you today? It was fine. Um, so, yeah, Barnsley did give Wolves a, a very tough test. Mm. They, Barnsley, have labelled it the... Well, what is it? The rematch of the season, I think is how, what they've called it. Yes, I saw that, yes. uh, They've kind of mocked up a movie poster on their website mm. starring uh, Wolves, Barnsley, Heckingbottom, etc. Yes. Um, because, yeah, um, Barnsley haven't had much to cheer this season and not, not many great performances, but at Molyneux, they could rightly feel aggrieved not to claim a point. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a, a, a great game. Uh, Wolves really struggled to break them down. It's the 80th minute when Brighton and Picari scored. Then Barnsley equalised in injury time and then... Yeah. Wolves got the late winner. Didn't so see, I was, I was in this outside the stadium. Yes, you were. <laughs> it's all about you, isn't it? It's all about me. Um, so Paul Eckenbop said afterwards he, he felt sick. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a rematch for, but it's a grudge match for Barnsley. Yeah. But not, not so much for Wolves. Um, <laughs> <laughs> then, they're, then, they're, then they're as bothered. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, he knows it'll be a tough game. You know, Barnsley. They've, you, you wouldn't really say they've got any stars in their team, but no. they're well drilled. Yeah. They're, they're a young developing team who are, who can be a. Um, can be a threat going forward. Got a couple of decent strikers, Kiefer Moore and Tom Bradshaw. So, uh -huh. at the yeah. same, at the same time. Although you did say on the podcast yesterday that, that Wolves are going to win. I didn't, didn't, didn't say. I didn't say they are going to win. So <laughs> they're probably going to win. No. <laughs> Come on, it's on tape. Okay, when when Wolves win. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you look at it though, and he's he's kept the, the, the players' feet on the ground very much this season. And, yeah. You know. Yeah. We, you, you, I, you, I, you, might, I might overstate the you, fact you that we're going to win. A bit of time. Yes, I could. Yeah, I could. But but they have them there and they respect the opposition and they go there and they, they won't take anything for granted no I was talking to, to Ryan Bennett actually uh, before before Nuno's press conference Benno and <laughs> and he, um, he he said exactly that you know they're, they're, but sometimes you know these are platitudes from, from players you know oh yeah we're concentrating on the next game yeah we're not going to get complacent but you really feel it with these players with Wolves they are they are being hammered on the training ground every yeah. day. You do not get ahead of yourselves. And if you do, you're out of the team. Mm -hmm. and, he, and he means it. Mm -hmm. And he's got the squad at his disposal that he can follow through on that. Because, you know, if, if, if anyone's yeah. getting complacent, they'll be dropped, yeah. it can be, because there's someone ready to take their place. So um, you, you do feel they're not getting complacent. And mm -hmm. you, don't re you don't really see any warning signs at the moment. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they're so far ahead. Yeah. And everyone's kind of wondering what's going to stop Wolves. Mm -hmm. There's nothing really sticking out at the moment. Uh, and Nuno's got massive respect from the players. Now, he might not like press conferences, Nuno. Shock. Yeah. Spoiler. But on that pitch, yeah, and I think that's what he loves, isn't he? He loves being on that pitch, loves on that, being on that training field and just working with the players. Yeah, that's, that's, his, that's his bread and butter. That's what motivates him and, and inspires him. That's, that's, what he li that's what he lives for. And he's got a great connection with, with, with the players. Mm -hmm. and, that, and that comes through. It comes through. And I that's think, the most important thing. I think he, he really treads that line between... Uh, fear and respect, mm -hmm. which I guess is is what you know most great great leaders do. You know, in, in the kind of a Sir Alex Ferguson mould. You know, yeah. you, you know, you know, he can he can take you out and get and give you a rollick in, and then ten minutes later he could have his arm around you. You know, it's it's. And that's it's, just in the press room. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Uh, so yeah, he's, he's he's got that balance just right between. Yeah, they hugely respect him, but, but yeah. I think they can fear him as well because mm. he, he can certainly dish it out. Someone he he has a lot of respect for is is Jack Price. Spoke very nice about him. Yeah, so yeah, Jack Price left left this week. 18 years at the club, mm. fantastic servant over many, many, many years. And he said, uh, you know, we, we wish him well. It's obviously it's obviously the best thing for Price. I think he wasn't getting anywhere near the, near the first team. You've got Morgan Gibbs White stepping up last week and doing mm. well against Swansea. Hinton, he can take that role. So no, he said, you know, we, we wish him all the best. We thank him for for his time. Absolutely, uh, and he didn't rule out any more exits as well this January. Well, he wouldn't because there will be some. So. Um, you know, Zyro and Marshall, mm -hmm. uh, two they're looking to get out, uh, maybe a couple more as well. You know, I gather Courtney Hawes is, is one that may, may go out on loan if, if they feel they've got enough cover. So, um, no, but he, no, he, he, he won't get into specifics in a press no. conference, but no, he, he didn't rule it out. But like you said this morning in, in your article, these are, these are plays that do attract plenty of interest. Well, you read it, did you? Well, you know, I'm giving you, I'm giving you a bit of a big up here, come on, <laughs> plug, plugging out. Yeah, Marshall, obviously wanted by a host of championship clubs, you know, he's... He's not out of the team because he's not because he's not a good championship player. Sure. He's he's out of the team because he just doesn't fit into Nuno's thinking and Nuno's plans and perhaps Nuno's formation. Mm -hmm. They don't need him. So um, a host of championship clubs will be after him. Zyro is a bit more difficult because he hasn't, he hasn't really got much of a profile in this country. If, sure. You know what I mean? He's only played a handful of games. He hasn't played for a long time. Mm -hmm. So there's not going to be a load of championship clubs, you know, saying, God, this guy's exactly what we need. Mm -hmm. Because he because he hasn't played for so long, you know. 
having, having seen him, Wolves fans will know the potential he's got. But anyway, it'll be a bit, bit more of a struggle to get him out, but I think, I think they will do this month. Morgan Gibbs White did really good, really well. On Saturday, will he be involved tomorrow? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he spoke glowingly about it, didn't he? And he, he's an option, you know, if, if they don't sign anyone or replace Jack Price. He, he put his hand up last week and said, uh, pick me. Pick me, boss. Yeah, Pick me. Yeah. He, you know, he said he could be the fourth option. You know, mm. is, is is what Gibbs White suggested last week. I thought he was. I thought he was excellent. I think he's, he's he was very mature, very composed. I think he's he's um, he's come on a lot in the last six months. Whether that's partly down to his World Cup win, his tutelage under under Nuno, etc. What's so funny? <laughs> no, nothing. Nothing. No, go on. I'm just I'm just thinking about my outro. I was trying to be funny. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, come, oh, carry on. I don't, I don't listen to what you're saying. Right. Okay. No, carry on. Go on it's fine. No, there's no banter. Do it now. No banter. Oh. Okay, so Gibbs White, yeah. Uh, well, ju- judging on what we saw against Swansea, against an accomplished midfield, yeah. you know that uh, Renato Sanchez, Leroy Fer, Tom Carroll, you know these are good players. Morgan more than held his own, and he may only be 17, but I think, I think he's, I think he's ready to step up, mm-hmm. and that, that doesn't necessarily mean to get a huge amount of game time this year because Price didn't in that fourth four position, but he'll get another chance against Swansea. But I guess I guess he'd rather be playing in, in Wolves and on the, you know. In and out, in and out of the team, then yeah. going out to someone in League Two or whatever. Yeah, definitely. Don't you think? No, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll, um, I, I, I predict he'll be on the bench tomorrow and, and get another chance at Swansea. Okay, uh, another yeah, three points. Another three points tomorrow. Oh well, me and Tim will be at the game for all the build-up on this yeah. one. Make sure you log Is on to expressstar.com. <laughs> Same as usual. <laughs>